For this session, we are going to look at the Bridgeways Manage Pack for Oracle Databases. This Manage Pack is designed to provide IT administrators with a detailed view on the performance and availability of the Oracle databases running within their environments. Oracle is typically a black hole for many administrators. Oracle DBAs use their own tools to monitor and maintain the individual servers, but these tools are not always available to everyone who would like to have details around how Oracle is running. The Bridgeways Manage Pack fills this gap by providing detailed information while hiding the complexities of connecting to and gathering the information from Oracle. The Manager Pack is native to Operations Manager. You simply import the MPs, push the providers out to your Windows and Unix or Linux based machines, and then you can start monitoring once you set up the Run As accounts. The Run As accounts are handled through Run As profiles. A profile is used to associate an individual account with Oracle servers or Oracle instances. You can also associate with groups of objects. This allows you to have distinct usernames and passwords stored within Operations Manager that can be used with the appropriate objects in order to allow monitoring to occur. This also means that your IT administrators do not know how to connect to Oracle. They have no idea what the username and password is, therefore they can't go in and do anything manually or anything that Operations Manager is not allowing them to do natively. The Management Pack monitors Oracle by modeling it from the server through the instance into the table spaces. This provides administrators with both high level and detailed views on the health of the databases that their applications are built on top of. The health of the environment is monitored through both availability and performance metrics. Looking at the health model for one of the instances, we can see how well our Oracle database is handling the load that it is under. For each of the individual monitors, we have deep knowledge base articles. These knowledge base articles tell you what is the monitor, what can cause the monitor, and how will you go about resolving the problems being reported by this monitor. This KB is crucial for improving the overall efficiency of the IT organization because it helps anyone who is diagnosing problems within a service stack, whether they are an Oracle expert or not, to put context around the issues that they are seeing and to more effectively triage problems to the appropriate people. Another key point about our manager pack is that for expensive monitoring options like watching for inactive sessions, instead of watching every session and putting load on Oracle and Operations Manager by tracking all of the session characteristics individually, we aggregate the data into a single monitor. This allows it so when something goes critical, it is giving you a high level alert about the presence of inactive sessions as opposed to the details. The details are obtained through a real-time task that will find out what is happening now. These tasks are typically associated with objects, so in our case we're looking at a task associated with an instance and we're going to look at the sessions inactive. When you run this task, it goes off and it looks at Oracle at this current time so you can find out what is the, the actual list of inactive sessions associated with this instance of Oracle. The output from this task can then be sent on to the Oracle DBA who will take a look at each of these individual sessions and determine whether any of them can actually be terminated. Looking at the performance side of things, performance is broken down by a component. So we're looking at the instances, we're looking at things like the buffer cache hit percentage, we can see the database size, we can see the index usage, or we can start to dig into performance metrics through AWR. AWR is not enabled by default because this is a feature of Oracle that you have to pay extra for, but if you are using it then you can start to get some of the detailed information like parse to execute rate or more information around the transactions, so your commits versus your rollbacks. Performance metrics allow you to proactively monitor and diagnose issues that are being seen by looking for trends and looking for spikes that have occurred over the past time frames. And you can scale this down based on the past few hours, past day. You can do whatever you need through Ops Manager in order to get the data into a format that fits what you need. Another good source of information around the healthier environments are reports. These reports can be subscribed to by people both with access and without access to the Operations Manager console. They can be dropped into file shares or they can be emailed directly or exposed through SharePoint sites. But what they do is they give people that nice view on what's going on within Ops Manager without having to bring up the console. You're able to see the metrics, you're able to see canned reports that provide groups of metrics so you can get a good idea of how well your Oracle database is running. So as you can see from looking at the Bridgeways Manager Pack and the features being provided to you, 
you're able to get a nice good deep dive into Oracle. And you're able to see both the availability and performance of your servers and this provides you with the information you need to proactively monitor those servers and greatly reduce the risk of unplanned downtime.